What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 5 stick drift issues. So you're probably wondering, I just got a PlayStation 5, my controller's bugging out, my literally my controller's drifting, what is happening? So for those of you who don't know what this is, basically if your controller analog stick is just like drifting to the left or the right like without it moving and the character is just moving or the player is just moving that's a stick drift issue this happened to me on my playstation 4 after a lot of wear and tear so i just purchased a new controller um this shouldn't be happening to a brand new console like a playstation 5 or xbox series x or a nintendo switch this was a nintendo switch issue that was very big a lawsuit happened and like nintendo had to fix these for free um and it's happening to sony as well sadly uh, so I'm going to kind of show you what you can do to fix this said issue. So the first thing is you want to make sure your controller is up to date. So the way you do that is you click into the PlayStation button. Uh, you go all the way to the uh, on accessories, basically where the controller is. Click into wireless controller and click into controller settings. If at the bottom it says the wireless controller device software is 0210, you're pretty much good to go. That is the latest possible version right now as of what is today, 2 2021 Um unsure when you're watching the video it could be different but the best way to update the controller is literally once you turn on the playstation 5 and you have automatic updates on it will tell you hey there is an update please connect the usb-c wire to your controller and do that there's a possible software issue that's causing it and not an actual physical issue causing this control to drift so this is the updates should help possibly fix it the other thing you can do and this is interesting i don't know if the playstation 4 have has this if you're watching the video i know i'm showing my playstation screen right now but if you have the controller in front of you flip it around so you can look at the back side and if you look where it says sony and r their logo right next to it there's a little hole if you can take a tiny pin and basically push it in that will reset your controller you might have to reconnect it back to your playstation 5 but this resets or basically reformats your controller per se and it kind of like you can literally use a paper clip or those iphone tray wire things that come out like anything very like thin basically like a pin per se and plug it in and just like press it for a few seconds and like just let it go that's all you have to do um the next thing you have to do is uh, if that doesn't work uh, is we're gonna go back to the playstation accessories menu and go to wireless controller and controller settings and in here we're basically going to kind of remove said controller um you're just going to disconnect it from the bluetooth and like reconnect it back again you can either just try a usb c cable or whatever but you can basically find the bluetooth accessory here and like disconnect it reconnect it back and kind of go from there oh there's a tv somewhere for 75 inches <laughs> um okay so trying that again this is these are a lot of possible software issues that are happening which you're kind of trying to like go back and fix possibly hoping like that kind of ends up fixing said issues um another one was you can actually change your controller trigger intensity that you see over here the trigger effect intensity you can try to turn it off or then maybe turn it to strong you can see which one i, I don't know if this is going to be useful um this one i was kind of like doing some research and found this was helpful unsure if it would help you but try to turn it off and then maybe turn it back on or keep it off and see what if that helps you or not um the next one is more so with the actual controller itself if you have the controller in front of you actually the right way facing you clean the analog sticks there's possible that you know you were eating cheetos or something and playing cod some dust got into it or something <laughs> what you're just gonna do is just kind of like take a clean extra q-tips and kind of like clean it off and wipe the controllers it's possible maybe there's some debris inside of it that's causing it to tw tw twist and turn per se and causing issues for it to basically happen so definitely try that out and see if that kind of helps fix your issue if it doesn't i'll make another video on how to make a get an order replacement uh as soon as it's out, it'll be in the description so you guys can obviously see it from there or it'll be linked in the comments for you guys to kind of check out. But yeah, hopefully this helps fix the issue and you don't got to return the controller basically. So yeah, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you overall like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And on that, Mo Gaming out. Peace.